Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about bags, in particularly Overland bags. Um, I got five bags that I would like to share with you um, in regards to overlanding travel. Let's get into this. Alright guys, the first bag that we like is from Adventure Tool Company. This bag is basically for kitchen utensils and more. It's made out of Cordura, but I like the fact that you can add many tools for um, cooking on this bag and lighters. It's really well constructed, seems very durable, and so far we love this one. And it's a plus that it's made in the USA. So this is number one on our list. Um, yeah, we love this bag a lot. Check it out. All right, guys. Second bag of our list is going to be the last U.S. bag. Um, this is more of a tote bag, grocery bag. And we recently got this one uh, because... Uh, number one is made in the USA. Number two it uses Cordura fabric, which we love Cordura fabric because we know it's very durable. I um, also like the fact of supporting US companies that are making gear in the USA. As you can see the zipper is completely waterproof. Not only did we get one, we got two of them. For the fact, and the, by the way that one's the same. Um, the fact that we're getting tired of using grocery bags, so we're like, let's get two of these for grocery bags. So when we go to town, from town to town, we can um, pack this up with groceries instead of paying for the bags. And uh, yeah, this is our second on the list. We love it. Um, we love the construction of it. Um, so far, it's been pretty good. And I totally recommend this bag as well. And this one is from last US bag company and I'll put the links on the description alright guys number three on the list is this bag by step 22 um, I believe the name is um, the Rhino Reg A Marl. Um it's uh, number 22 Rhino 04 um, this bag is really good I recently got this one for the recovery here that we make in-house I'll show you real quick a couple steps about it kind of opens up pretty wide like so and by the way we make these ropes um, through a company called um, K72 rope but we'll talk about this later. For now, we'll talk about the bag. Um, so yeah, so we got the bag specifically for our recovery gear. I like the fact that it opens up pretty big, so you can throw a lot of gear in here. Also opens up to the side, like so. Easy to zip up, for the most part. Um, it's a great looking bag, um, the fabric has, it's like a liner, um, waterproof liner, um, which is, seems pretty durable, um, we haven't used it yet outdoors, but I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll last a while. Also the fact that it has some really nice buckles, um, and materials on it, but yeah, this is, uh, Number three on the list for our recovery gear. We also make these patches in-house. So if you guys need these patches, we can um, supply them for you guys. This is bag number four. This is by Adventure Trail Gear. Um, really been looking at this company for a while. We needed a bag that can replace the trash roux that we've been using for years. Um, 
on the tire carrier. Um, this one is a little bit costly. It's made in Canada and it's um, using USA materials like buckles. Uh, this material is made in the USA. The Velcro is made in the USA. Um, so yeah, we got this bag specifically because we're tired of the trash roo um, breaking down on us. So we think that this bag is gonna last much longer for our expeditions. Well, let's open it up real quick. Check it out. It's got some really nice Velcro over here. It's got some really nice zippers to expand the bag inside. Comes with all the buckles to attach to the tire. It's got some extra buckles inside right over here. You can add perhaps recovery gear hanging inside or maybe, uh, I don't know, something in relation to camping. Really nice looking bag. Um, it's got a zipper on the top with quite a space actually. You can add more gear on here. Yeah, I'm really excited to be using this bag to be honest with you. The quality of it is is really top notch. Um, it's really well constructed and uh, it looks really good too. That's what I got it for because it looks amazing. But I think durability is going to be there too as well. Looking forward to using this bag. And this one is by Adventure Trail Gear. I will also have this on the description. Alright guys, this is bag number four, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is number four by Adventure Tool Company, made in Colorado. This is um, definitely one of my favorite bags. The reason why the construction of it is just really high quality. And I'm able to add my Craftsman toolbox plus tons of tools in here. Really love the zippers and the color of the bag inside is just a nice contrast between uh, the coyote outside with the black accents and then the orange and black, blue and red. Um, yes, yeah, it's an amazing bag, really well constructed. I know it's going to be part of our tool arsenal for a long time because of the quality like the fact that it zips up real fast and quick. Fabric at the bottom has got like a heavy duty um, Cordura fabric that protects the, the Cordura here. But it's this one, this, uh, this fabric over here is maybe twice as thick as this Cordura over here. Um, like the fact that it's got some Velcro over here. Um, it's got another pocket where you can add more tools. Same as on the other side. Main quality that I like is that it's made in the USA. Um, that shows a lot of quality. All the materials are made here. Cordura is made here. Probably the web is made here. Um, and then um, got a couple of uh, straps over here. I don't know what this is used for, but it is cool. I like it. Bag number four, Adventure Tool Company. And this one is for tools. And the last uh, bag of our list is this Front Runner. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this bag um, through the Front Runner website. And perhaps you've never gotten it because you don't know how it looks. Great looking bag. We add our kitchen gear on this bag. Nice looking bag inside. It's got a divider so you can divide kitchenware with tools or whatever. Nice zipper. Construction is almost like Cordura. 
Um, it's got a rigid form to it, so it's heavy duty. It's not gonna break on you. Um, it's a great little bag box for um, for kitchen or tools. The zippers is not as easy to close, but I think it's because the construction of the uh, the box. But it's not gonna break on you. It looks pretty heavy duty so far. Nice little grab handle. Um, looking forward to be using this on our on our trips. It's got two handles on the side as well. Uh, this will be great for um, your cooking food and your um, cooking hardware, utensils, you know, pots, pans, whatever. So this is number five on the list, and uh, this is a great bag. Well, this completes our video.